not necessarily a straight up question. More or less, I'm asking for advice. Can you give us some game on the music industry? Oh, this, this and thing. how getting on, how I can get on. Well, let me just say this. First and foremost, you got to outwork these niggas. Because as of right now, is probably 60,000 rappers in Philadelphia alone. So you times that times every other city all over the world, and you really behind the eight ball. Motherfuckers that want to rap in 2020 is really behind the eight ball. Like you, the, your shot of making it is like, None and and what's less than none? <laughs> it's not like well, it can't be less than none. What's what's it like? <laughs> your chances of making it as a rapper in this world is none, and then what's less than none? <laughs> like y'all got a shot. Oh, it's a lottery oh, ticket, oh, yo. You say their chances of what of making it as a rapper in twenty twenty is none, and what's less than none? None of none. None of none. Okay, so. If you if you think you're gonna be successful in this music industry, you gotta outwork probably four million motherfuckers all across five, six, seven million motherfuckers all across the country. Because that's how many rappers it is in just the United States alone. If it's not more than that. So you gotta outwork them, number one. Number two, you gotta have good content. Number three, you gotta be active on your socials. Because socials, media is the way of life now. But the flip side of that is, it's easier to get on than it was back in the day. Because you could get right on from your living room if you do the right shit. So it's a gift and a curse. It's so many much more people rapping than it was <laughs> back in the day. But... Also, to get on back in the day, you had to bump in the puff. You had to wait outside a concert, hope you see somebody, rap for them. Now, you could post some shit up and everybody could see you from wherever you record that. Right. And you got a, a chance to go viral. You can get, a, you can get a magical repost from somebody right. or something. And it's just that easy. So, understand that. Reposts ain't as powerful as people think they is. Right. right. But it's just that, that it's a possibility where he's saying before you used to go up to New York, stand right. outside that building, right. hoping you see somebody. I still no, stand no, no. outside Repost <laughs> is extremely powerful. Let's not get this twisted. Repost is extremely powerful when the person that's reposting you send traffic to your page and then when they get to your page, you actually got some shit going on. Right. Because then the people that's coming to your page will actually push follow and stay there. See, a repost don't mean shit to somebody who ain't got shit going on. Or they'll go to your link. Because motherfucker, right, a motherfucker might go to your link and might purchase something or might see something new that they like. It. But when you ain't got nothing going on and you want to repost and you get that repost and you real and you ain't getting no followers, you ain't getting no traction from it, it's because the motherfuckers that went to your page seen that you didn't have shit going on. You didn't have nothing to land them on. You didn't have nothing to keep them there. So at the end of the day, you got to work hard. You got to put your content out. You got to market yourself. You got to be an animal on them fucking socials, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, whether every, every platform that you could possibly, you know, market yourself on, you got to do it. And you got to understand, don't base your success off how many likes you get. Oh man, uh, they, only a certain amount of people like that. They don't like this record. Uh, no, nah, bro, you got to keep it pushing, keep it pushing, keep promoting, keep pushing yourself because when you're starting off as an independent artist, you your marketing promotion. So if you and the niggas that's around you ain't marketing and promoting your shit, how you going? How you going to blow? That's the number one problem with a lot of these artists out here. They be doing rap. You got a 15 homies, but none of your homies got your shit on their page. Right. I never understood that. Right. Now, <laughs> you got all these homies, but none of them don't have your album come out. You're not their heavy. <laughs> they don't constantly post you. They But when you go on that tour, they're going to want to be it on that tour bus. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. They're going to want to soak up all, they're going to want all the amenities that come with you being a successful artist, but... They didn't want to hold you down. But now that you're eating, they're going to want a job. They're going to want to roll. They're going to want to 
bed on the tour bus. They gonna want to get their dick sucked at the end of the sh- at, at the end of the night when you get them at your shoes. They gonna want all the amenities, all the shit that come with you being a popular rapper. But your whole journey there, them niggas didn't support you hundred percent. They was them just in case niggas. I'm here just in case you make it, nigga. Yeah. So you gotta understand too, and understand that all your friends ain't. Some friends is or you you just my homie, and some friends is yeah you my homie, but we also do business together too. You gotta understand how to separate the two. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta love niggas from a distance. I got I got I got homies that when I choose to say you know what I just got locked up with 82 pounds of weed. You know what my wife was life was on the line. I got homies' lives was on the line. My homie wife was line on the line. You know what I'm a, I'm a distance myself away from the bullshit. I had to distance myself away from some niggas because I said y'all niggas ain't taking the same path I'm taking. You niggas still want to operate outside the law. I'm cool. We still homies, but we gonna be homies from a distance. I got to love you from a distance, nigga. Cause I ain't going down on your indictment, nigga. Cause you gonna tell the next time something happens. I understand. Right. So at the, <laughs> no, no, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I'm Yo. gonna tell you, you're gonna talk about them niggas was gonna no, tell you. No, he tried to sneak that in there uh, and he he, he he almost tried to trick he you. He got it. He, he did. I, I thought he was talking about the nigga. Like, I ain't know he was talking about, about you. me. It's cool. Yeah. All right. So at the end of the day, man, that's how you gotta play it out here, man. And and all you youngest that want it in the music industry, if you really want it, you'll put the work in and God will see you want it, and he's going to put a blessing on you. Yeah, and do the team. Get your team together. Get your right. team. You see Drake and all them, he got the same dudes with him. Right. Team. You only as strong as your team. That's what you got to understand. 